Hello, my name is Eric Tarr. In this video, I'll be demonstrating several different ways to use the Waves Vitamin plugin to add some extra excitement to an EDM track. Here's what the song sounds like. The first thing that I'll demonstrate is how to use the Vitamin plugin to add some excitement to a noise sweep. This is an unconventional way to use a processor, but it shows off its functionality in a creative way. Here's what the sweep sounds like in isolation. Let me show you exactly what I did to create this sound. First I started out with the Waves Element Synthesizer. I went in and loaded the full reset. Then I turned off oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 and brought up the level of the noise. I'm sending this noise into the vitamin plugin. I'm using this processor to filter the noise using the center channel of the multiband processor. Here I'm automating the gain in this channel and then also the lower cutoff frequency and the upper cutoff frequency of the center channel. Here's it in action. One thing I like about that is it demonstrates how good the filters sound in the plugin. Next, let me show you how I'm using Vitamin to add some excitement to the reverb of my lead synth. Let me show you what I'm doing here. For my lead sound, I'm using the Waves Element Synthesizer. I'm layering together a couple presets. The first is the Punch Equencer preset. The second one is the Mono Beauty preset. These are stock presets that come with the plugin. So I'm layering them together on these instrument tracks, but I'm also using auxiliary sends to take that signal over to my reverb channel here. On the reverb channel, I've inserted the Manny Mariquin reverb. I'm using the large space algorithm with a little bit of compression. Then I'm sending that reverb into the Vitamin plugin for processing. I've turned down the dry signal here. I've widened everything out as far as it can go. Then I'm primarily using the plugin to control the amplitude of the spectral content of the reverb. Here's what it sounds like. So there's another creative way to use Vitamin to add some excitement to reverb. Let me show you the more conventional way to use it now. Here I've got it inserted across my mix bus. When I brought it up, I went with the full reset. Then I brought down the level of the dry signal a little bit because I know I'm going to be adding more energy to the signal over here. I widened out the stereo field on my top end, and for the low frequency, I made it very narrow. Then with the harmonic exciter, I'm using kind of this scoop shape because I know I want to add some more weight to the low end and some clarity to the top end. I brought up the punch all the way because it's EDM, and that's all there is to it. 